Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In this video, I'm going to take a look at using Excel's substitute function. I guess everybody has their favorite kind of category uh, of, uh, of function in Excel. I've always been very, very fond, if that's the right word, of my text or string functions. You guys may well have seen uh, some of my other text or string function videos here on YouTube, lefts and rights and uh, clean and trim I've done recently for example but yet yeah, today it's all about the substitute function and it pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. I'm going to use my order dates once again I've downloaded this data, created some sample data, it's been downloaded from some system uh, for example the order dates have come down in an inappropriate way full stops between the DD and the MM and the YY, YY for example and then they should be hyphens potentially or forward slashes which of course is what Excel um, likes uh, as separators between the day and the month and the year for example. So just bear with me for a moment, control space to select uh, column D there for example, control plus to uh, to insert a column and I'm just going to drag that, uh, that heading across. So this is where I'm going to end up with a nice clean column of order dates using Excel's substitute function. So equals sub tab across to that's the piece of text that I want to manipulate in some way shape or form comma argument separator of course um, in quotes a full stop comma in quotes a forward slash I'm going to use I'm going to get Excel to substitute the full stop in cell C2 with a forward slash just press return or enter on that and we can see well it's a typical day, although it does look like um, it's text. Of course, the uh, the clear clue there is that it's on the left-hand side of the cell. I'm just going to tidy things up, as I, in fact I've done um, in previous videos a little bit further using a value function. Watch what happens when I enclose the substitute inside a value, close off the brackets there, and then return or enter. Double-click the fill handle. Whole column is still selected. Control-1 format cells double click date for example and I've got nice neat tidy clean order dates so fundamentally this video is all about the substitute function let me just zoom in there um, and F2 on that of course at some point then I would probably uh, copy paste special values uh, so that I've got nice clean order dates which I can use going forward again as some kind of an analysis perhaps using pivot tables and so on so that's the substitute function in Excel you might have noticed as well guys let me just I've actually got a column um, hidden away there uh, let me just unhide it for you I'm gonna leave this as a little bit of a challenge for you guys check that out that's even messier shall we say it's got um, spurious non-printing characters um, it's got spaces it's got that full stop instead of the forward slash so how would you guys uh, use a variety of different text or string functions use trim use clean use substitute use value to tidy up that particular order date for example there that's a challenge for you guys check out my various other videos you'll find good clues on exactly how to do that but I'm gonna leave you now with that formula this is Mark Davis from Optimum Technology Transfer take care and bye bye